When you examine the affirmative team's case, what you see is that none of it is actually backed up by an expert in the field. What I just said looked a little bit odd because I didn't use my hands. Compare it to this. When you examine the affirmative team's case, what you see is that none of it is actually backed up by an expert in the field. Hand motions are incredibly powerful, and you want to make sure that you're making good use of them. Here are a few ways to improve your gestures. First, make open gestures with your palms facing the audience. Psychologically, this actually improves your trust with the audience. Second, spend time brainstorming some gestures that you can use, let's say, for your first affirmative speech. This helps you to come up with unique, new ideas rather than ones that you come up with on the fly. Fourth, don't gesture for every single word you say. That's definitely excessive. Keep in mind that hand motions are a little bit like downbeats in music. If you're having a little dance party by yourself and the drop to the song comes, you go like this when the drop comes, not right before the drop or right after the drop. Right? Well, at least I do. So when you're doing hand motions, you want to specifically do hand motions when you have something important to say like that, the downbeat of your words, not just all the time like this. Fifth, increase the size of your gestures. If you're used to just doing this, then try doing this. It increases your trust with the judge. Six, control your hand motions. Chaotic hand flopping is not nice. I hope this quick talk on hand motions helped you out. If it did, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you won't miss any new videos.